So that got done cloning and if we go to our directory there's there's our fork cloned over onto our hard drive and we want to build source from this so the first thing let me go back and explain something to you real quick all right up here where it says release this is our version and very important we need to make sure that this is set on 4.9 if that's what your uh, plugins are compiled for ours are all compiled for 4.9 so 4.9 and if you go back to the website and it's kind of confusing that's why I wanted to kind of point this out here uh, we're going to go back to EA or EA Unreal Engine that was terrible that's an insult and right here you got the same thing you can change this or whatever here and it doesn't seem to make a difference if you're gonna use the github software if you're gonna use this I believe that's why you change it here but you want to the release is the actual latest copy which is 4.10 right now but I just wanted to point that out this really doesn't do anything I believe it on release when you go to fork it over like when I showed you a few minutes ago so that is all forked over and this is the directory and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit this setup dot bat and that's going to take a while and it's going to download and install a bunch of files so let that do its thing and we'll be back alright so the setup bat was done the next thing to do is you want to come up here and you want to generate project files bat double click it this one should go pretty fast okay and that gave us our SLN now remember this is the source from github so we have to build and compile it too so we're going to double click the SLN and it's going to launch and here we go again with this long dreadful build and compile and it's going to take a while like a half an hour so I'm going to go ahead and pause this while that does that that compiled out so we're ready for the next step and this is the point where I would like to see if what we have so far from github the source will build and run and see if everything's working up to this point so let's go ahead and hit the debugger and it's going to want to build again and I'm going to say yes and it's going to build and it's going to take a while again so I'll be back okay this is just about done and uh, it com it built successful and if I would have been paying close enough attention there would have been a box that popped up here and yeah it's not hidden it would have said there we go 4.9.2 that's exactly what we wanted because we have our github like I say this right here controls what version that your engines gonna compile to so we wanted 4.9 and it looks like it's still gonna be a little while here so I'll go ahead and pause it okay it's at 95 percent it's getting ready to launch and there we go it has actually compiled and we are running from 4.9.2 from github source 
so we can just close out of this I wouldn't recommend opening up anything yet like that and I'm gonna stop this and so our next problem is we need to have our personal project compile with the github and to do that we're going to go to our directory where our games installed and I want to make sure that I'm going to turn this off and we are installed here's our YouTube too and what you want to do is we'll go right here to this and we want to right click and you want to switch Unreal Engine version and we want to tell it to build from source from our github that we just built it's going to generate some new project files usually it's pretty quick there we go now if we launch our SLN it's got to go through compiling again and this time though it's rebuilding our solution explorer and it's going to have to recompile but we have our project now and the development server option is available so now we're getting close to being able to bake out our dedicated server we just have to let this compile and and then we have to build again because we want to run the debugger to see if everything's working good up until this point so we'll be back and for the final test we got done building it says ready and like I said we still have our development server but we want to confirm that everything's working so we are going to hit the debugger and yep gonna build it and time for another coffee break okay so it built successfully but now it's asking me about this substance plugin and it wants to know if I'd like to download it and I'm gonna say no and then it's gonna a couple more little windows might pop up here let's see what happens Alright, I'm going to pause it.